Hey guys, welcome to our channel Coders Arcade. In today's video, we are going to talk about watches in debugging. So in my earlier videos, I have talked about the normal simple debugging in any Python code using PyCharm. And uh, what we were doing that time is uh, we were using this breakpoint. So what were the breakpoint? Breakpoint is telling a program where to stop instead of executing whole program at once. So wherever we put, we put our breakpoint, it is going to stop there and it is going to show us what is happening at that particular point. And you can just step over one by one, one by one to each and every command. And you can check what is happening on each and every step. In this case, if I debug my program here, so right now I have my breakpoint at the uh, B equals to 20 command, which is the second line. And if I debug my code, you can see, you can see that uh, we have stopped onto this particular B step so how we get to know that we have stopped onto this b particular step and uh, in our second line you can see that our b equals to 20 or the second line is being highlighted that means our program is stopped at this point and uh, if i click on to step over you can see it is going to go on to the second line and here in the debugger you can see that there is one pane called variables pane here i have told you all the variables of your particular program or whatever program you are debugging will be stored here. Now, in this case, well, we have only two variables, which is A and B. So here you can see in variables pane, you can see that there are two variables called A and B. So value of A is 10 and the value of B is 20 here in this case. Now, don't get confused with this special variable. So if you click onto this, these are the default variables or the inbuilt variables that has been used in the Python inbuilt file. So you don't have to worry about any of these things. So in your case, these special variables must be uh, opened by using the drop down menu on these special variables. And uh, in my case, I have just closed this special variables. So you don't have to worry about this special variables much. Let's come to a main point. So I was talking about the watches window. So here, let me just first uh, close my debugger. And uh, one more thing that if you want to stop your debugger, what you want to do is you want to click onto this red stop button. And if you click onto this red stop button, your debugger will automatically stop. Now, let us talk about watches pane. So there are two panes while we use a debugger. So first one as is the variable pane that we were seeing till now. And uh, the second one is the watches pane. So variable basically contains all the variables, but watches pane contains only that particular variable that you want to see, that you want to watch. So let us see. Uh, I'm just going to first put my breakpoint at the first line itself so that as soon as I debug my code, it is going to stop onto my first line. It is not going to execute though. So I'm going to click onto this debug sum. And if I click onto this debug sum, I have to wait something and you can see that our debugger has been started. So now you can see that there are no variables shown in this area right now. Why? Because we have not executed this first line. We are only on the first line, but we are not executed that first line. That is shown by this blue line, blue color line on our first line. It shows that we are onto this step, but still we have not executed it. So to execute and go to the next step, as I have told you, you have to click onto this step over button, or you can click onto F8 button on your keyboard and that will execute this line and will jump over to the next line. So if you click onto this button right here, but before that, let me tell you about the watches pane. So as I've told you watches pane, there are two, uh, there are two panes, which is the variables pane and the watches pane. So here in this case, by default in today's versions of uh, PyCharm, watches pane is by default hidden into your debugger. So how you can bring out the watches pane, you have to click on to this little specs icon right here. So if you see carefully here, there is one spectacles icon right here. If I click on to this, now you can see that there is another window called watches. So I can just resize it and you can see this watches pane properly. So now we have the variables pane and the watches pane. So variables pane, what this, what is the difference between the variables pane and watches pane? As I've told you earlier, variables pane contains all the variables that are used into your program. But watches pane is 
uses only those variables that you want to watch, that you wanted to see what is happening with those variables. So let us uh, see what I'm talking about. So right now I am onto this first line and now I have to execute this line and, and, and I have to go to my second line. So what I can do is I can just click onto this step over. So as soon as I click onto this step over, you can see that in your variables pane, there is a equals to 10. And you can see that int is showing it's uh, the data type of a that is int because it is containing the value 10, which is numeric value that is showing me a equals to int of 10. So you can see here, this is the variables pane. It is showing the variables till now what all the variables are executed that is showing it here in this variables pane. So till now we have only jumped to step two and our first step has been executed and our first step contain a variable A. That is why that variable is being shown here. But here on the watches pane, you have not see, you are not seeing any variables. So by default, watches pane does not automatically adds all the variables. You need to add variables manually into your watches pane to watch over that particular variable. So here there are many ways of adding the variables. Now, before that, let me uh, skip over to some more steps. So I can just click on to this two more steps. And here you can see we have executed three steps here and we are onto the last uh, statement here. So here, as you can see, there are three variables that it is that is being shown. So the variable A, B and the third variable, which is total. And now if I step over again, you can see that our program will stop and will stop executing and it, it will give us the uh, output. But we don't need to do that because we need to see watch pain. So let us see watch pain now. Here, as you can see, watch pain is uh, is empty here, and you can see that in a variables by default there are three variables that is being uh, shown in this variables pane. So we are seeing all the variables that we are using onto our uh, code editor. So we now suppose you want to um, particularly see what is happening onto variable A. So what you can do is instead of finding that variable here into the variables pane. Uh, you can just add it right here. So you can just have to click onto this plus icon. And if you type A, you can see you will get the suggestion, which is variable A. And if you press enter right here, you can see on our watches pane, our variable A has been added. So this way you have added manually added your variable A. Now you can see separately what is happening with this variable. Now you must have a uh, question in your mind that our variable span and our watches pane has the same data for A variable both here is also a and here is also a which is same which is written here but what is the main difference between watches and variables so why we use watches now suppose you have hundreds of variables and you want to search for only one variable now suppose you have one variable a in somewhere else in your program and you have hundreds of variables so in that case instead of just scrolling down in your variables pane and searching uh, that particular variable what you can do is you can just add that variable into your watches pane and now you don't have to uh, worry about searching all searching in all the hundred variables in your variables pane instead you can just add that particular variable in the watches pane and you can watch that particular variable separately and what function that is doing so this is what our watches pane works now one more thing you can hide again this watches pane by clicking onto this spectacle icon right here and one more thing that I wanted to tell you now in the watches pane, as you can see here, uh, there are different different options here in your watches pane. So you have the plus icon to add new watch. Uh, this was the one way of adding the watch. So you can just click onto this plus icon and you can just type whatever variable that you want to add onto your watch pane. Other thing is if you want to uh, add that particular variable instead of typing it or if you instead of just clicking onto this plus, you can what you can do is. Uh, suppose you want to add the B variable. So what you can do is right click onto the B variable in your variable pane and just click on to add to watches. Now, once you do this, your B variable has been added here. Now, suppose uh, you want to make some duplicate copies of this B watches, B watch. So what you can do is you can click onto this icon right here, which is duplicate watch and you will get a duplicate uh, variable for your B variable. So this way uh, you can duplicate the variable now you can see this uh, move up and move down watch. You can use this to navigate between different different watches or the other way is you can use the view cursor to navigate between the different different watches or uh, this this uh, remove watch this minus button will remove the watch. So if you select onto this uh, 
uh, duplicated V variable, you can just delete it using selecting that and you can just click on this remove watch. So this is going to remove the watch and uh, you will be able to remove the watch. And now if you want to hide the watch, what you can do is you can directly click onto this spectacle icon again and the watch's pane will be hidden into your variables pane right here in your uh, toolbar, variables pane toolbar. It is as simple as that. Now, if you again click onto this spectacle icon, you can see our watches pane has been added again. Now, let me delete this watches that I've created and let me show you. I'll just uh, minimize this debugger and I'm going to stop the debugger. Now, again, I'm going to start debugging and uh, I just wanted to show you one thing. So, uh, my debugger is launched and now you can see that we are on to our first step. Now, remember, our first step is not yet executed. That means our variables will not be added until and unless we step over it again onto the next command. So what you can do is if I now in this case, if I add that particular variable or suppose if I add a variable, you can see it is it is showing us that a equals to name error. Name a is not defined. Why it is not defined? Because we are not yet executed that particular line. We are on that line, but we are not executed that line. That is why we are not able to see that particular variable onto a variables pane or we cannot add that variable to a watch list. So as soon as I step over, you can see that our error is gone and our A variable has been added to a watch list and on variables list also that A variable has been added. Now you can just go on and step over and step over again and complete your program, uh, debug your program, wherever your problem you find, you, you fix it. And then uh, some in some cases uh, where you want to focus on to some particular variable, you can do that using the watches pane. And once you are doing, uh, once you are done using the watches pane, you can delete it and you can hide it or you can close it as it is. So next time if I close this uh, debugger and if I again debug this program, you can see our watches pane will be there. You can see our watches pane has been there. So I, once I unhide this icon right here, so now I don't have to worry about again uh, unhiding the uh, watches pane and this way you can use the watches pane window in your debugger. So this is uh, what I wanted to show you about watches pane in your debugger in your PyCharm. You can debug any code using this debugger and use watches pane in your debugger. So thanks for watching. I hope you have understood. If you have any doubts, you can just post them in the comment section. I will catch you guys in the next one. So this is all about this video guys. Thanks for watching. Hope you like the video and if you like it then tell us in the comment section below. If you have any doubts then post them in the comment section. I will definitely try to clear those doubts. Also like share and subscribe to our channel Coders Arcade and press the bell icon so that you will get a notification when we post our new video. Thank you. Happy learning.